Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. Um, this video I'm going to show you basically <clears throat> how to record, so not live stream, how to record with OBS and if I, like getting all the best settings for it to make it the best quality. I love OBS. I, I used to only use it to stream and recently I used to use Camtasia to record or fraps to record if it's an actual game that you know can't be captured with Camtasia or it'd be too laggy that's not the point but OBS <clears throat> is the best recorder I have ever used I don't want to say it's the best recorder in the like in out of all of the recorders but uh, in my opinion it is but that's just my opinion but I will I will state that it is the best free recording software out there it's so customizable it's so easy to use it's just amazing so um this screen capture right here don't worry about that that's what I'm using to show you guys this and this one you know don't worry about that either just don't worry about these act like there's no sources there and scenes there they just have to be because I have to record this so just don't worry about that so we're gonna go into settings so we're gonna start from the top tab and go to the bottom tab I'm gonna explain the best I can don't worry guys if this video is a little longer I'm gonna try to make this like 13 15 minutes somewhere in between there it's super easy guys so something I wanna say if you know about OBS live streaming settings wise and you're watching this to figure out to record or you know how everything's supposed to work with you know this and that you just wanna see it I want to state this, don't leave in the comments, oh that shouldn't be that way, that's not right. Recording with it is completely different than streaming, completely different settings wise, absolutely different, so just keep that in mind. So in the general tab, you're going to set it to your language, I'm sure you're English, that's what's preset to if you're watching this video. You're setting a uh, profile, just go ahead and add a profile, and if uh, leave uh, copy this if it's not preset, I'm pretty sure this is preset, but if something's checkmarked that I don't have, if you're, something on your side's checkmarked and it's not on my side, uh, fix it, or the other way around, if it's checkmarked on my side it's not checkmarked on yours, do that in the encoding make sure this is unchecked and the quality balance always at 10 always at 10 the quality balance um doesn't really make a big difference for instance like any like from if you have the quality on 7 to 10 it's a very minor difference but it does not put any extra stress on your computer whatsoever so make sure that is at 10 that is just going to make your recording pretty much as crisp as it can be so check mark use custom buffer size keep that at a thousand at all times we don't we don't need it more we don't need it lower um, actually I know what it does but I don't know if it applies when recording so it might not even be a thing but even if it does apply while recording you're always gonna want it on that number the max bit rate you want to set to 10,000 um, it caps out I think somewhere around 3,000 something 4,000 something or maybe 5,000 I don't quite remember what it caps out at but just setting it to an even 10,000 just it looks better you'll cap out the max bit rate and um, it's gonna have no stress on your computer com compared if it was at say 5,000 you're just gonna want it at 10,000 you're gonna get the best bit rate out of that so having your quality balance at 10 and your max bit rate at 10,000 is going to be just your are your quality balance at 10 sorry and your max bit rate at 10,000 is just that's the quality right there that's just going to give you amazing quality it's really hard to beat it I mean it's just great quality uh, your audio encoding you're going to want the codec done AAC at all times all times you don't want to switch it to mp3 because your audio quality is going to be nowhere as good the bit rate you can have on kinda whatever you want um, when recording I normally have it on 320 while recording because that just gives you literally like oh man uh, you don't even have to use audacity after this if you have this on AAC 320 bit rate and make sure your formats on 48 because you don't want it lower you just want it on that that oh man I can't stress enough on how beautiful y the audio quality is so if you don't have as good of a microphone this is this will really help Sorry, I was taking a drink of that pop, but just great audio quality. Now, once again, I want to say this. Don't, 
don't if you decide one day oh I'm gonna live stream or if you decide oh, okay this is a recording this is just like live streaming like I said these settings are going to be nowhere near nowhere even close to live streaming settings so don't use don't try to live stream with this because it's most likely gonna be look really laggy or it's just gonna explode so broadcast settings make sure you change the mode to file output only you can change your file path you just click browse you can set it to your computer documents videos downloads a uh, special folder on your desktop or just to your desktop like I have it it's up to you um, then you get your start recording and stop recording you can set that to an F key I don't know why mine aren't set I normally have mine on F11 then F12 so also if you click I, I, I'm actually not for sure about that, so I'm going to tell that later. But So you don't have to have hotkeys if you don't want to. Hotkeys just look kind of smoother. And if they're easy for you to remember, then do that. Uh, leave your video adapter preset. Make sure, don't have anything, uh, click custom, and make sure this is at 1920 by 1080. If it isn't, it should be preset. Um, if you have two monitors, for instance, I only have one monitor. If you have two monitors, three monitors, however many monitors you have, uh, check mark the bubble and uh, make sure um, it's set to the monitor you want to be capturing or else obviously you're not going to be capturing the right monitor. The F uh, disable aerial, uh, aerial check mark that. If it's not, that's going to give you a lot better performance. Um, FPS, uh, leave it at 30. Uh, even If you want it 60, like just uh, trust me you're gonna go over 30 FPS it's really hard to explain so just leave it at 30 leave the filter the same now the resolution downscale though um, let's let me let me talk about that so to make this as easy as it possible look at the last number in all of these and that's what the quality is gonna be pretty much as in that's what it's gonna be it's gonna be 360 P 392 P 432 P etc etc all the way up here so if you want to, uh, if you want your videos to be in 720 P make sure it's in 1280 by 720 if you want your videos in 1080 P make sure it's in 1920 by 1080 that'll gray out but that's that's fine so I personally um, do my videos in 720p because 1080p yes it does look nicer but people always, people have cause a lot of people have trouble um, people have trouble uh, watching videos in 1080p it'll make my render time go up a lot and I will put it in 864p but honestly it makes my render time a little bit harder and you can't really tell the difference in between 720 and 864 so I just leave it at 1280 by 720 so it's your choice and then on to audio desktop audio device make sure that's set to your headset um, so if it sets to your headset that means anything that comes out through your headset they will be able to hear um, don't check mark this uh, microphone if you want to make sure it's set to your microphone if you want them to hear you um, you can set both of them and then I'll show you how to mute them manually on the program so you can always have them set so you don't always have to come back into the settings and then into the audio and change it uh, don't check mark this keep that check marked. check marked if you want to use push to talk you can all go ahead and enable that and set your hotkeys that's up to you um, I don't use push to talk because I don't have any background noise as in like family members loud noises or anything and if even though I do have probably a little static in the background uh, maybe there I was, I was touching my mic I don't know um, that's just probably that's because I don't want to have it cut in and out I wouldn't use push to talk unless if you have typical family members dogs cats maybe construction outside or just some more a nuisance like that then you can go ahead and push to talk but I don't use it uh, mic, mic mute slash unmute, and mute slash unmute desktop hotkeys. If you need those, go ahead and set it. Uh, th those last three, just go ahead and leave. Um, you're going to want to use all of this the same. I'm pretty sure this isn't changed, so changes to high performance. I'm sure. Yep, this is set to zero. Make sure you set this to two. Set this to main, and make sure this is on very fast. I don't know what of these settings are default but um, just go ahead to turn the video into 720p and pause it and then just like put it in full screen or if you can see it or whatever and just copy these settings I would like to go uh, more tell you what they are and go into it but that would just take way too long um, 
but this is basically the settings I don't if you're just new to OBS or you're not new to it you just don't know too much about this especially for recording settings just don't mess around with it just change the settings to what mine are and uh, leave them there I'm pretty sure those I'm pretty sure this one this one and this one are the only ones that are changed but you know just just do that uh, don't worry about this and don't worry about these so click OK so bada bing boom good job you have all of your settings set so yeah there you go they're set congratulations so now I'm going to show you guys how to set up a scene so you right click add scene this comes up you can name it whatever you want uh, you can name it whatever you want to click OK so it went black so that's how you add a scene I'm gonna delete that and we're gonna go back to this one so you can see again and in the sources you can add a, mo a window capture which basically if you just want um, say you have a browser game open and you just want to capture a certain amount of it or you just want to capture a certain amount of your screen you can do that if you want to capture your whole monitor do a monitor capture if you want to add an image to your screen like you can do this I'll give you an example um, you can add image name it whatever you want browse and then just get to however wherever the image is and you can uh, you know let's go ahead and put the friendly creeper on here why not right um, let me actually hit the properties. I think there's a way to. Uh, I think it's like that or something like that. Was this? This should be a transparent uh, zero, maybe. No, that just cuts it out. I don't know. That should be a transparent creeper. That's strange. Okay, say so you want to add a PayPal thing. All right, let's just do that. And properties. I accidentally changed that to zero. My bad. Boom, there it is. You can uh, click edit scene and then click on the image if it's not on there. And you can change the size of it. You can move it around. Uh, do whatever you want. We're going to remove that. So if you want to add an image, you can do that. Uh, text, you can do that. Name the text, whatever you want. Up, And then you can choose your font, font size, color, uh, enter text. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe okay and then you can click edit scene again you can you know move it around you know change uh, change where you want it change the size of it and maybe say you don't want to delete it you just want to keep it there you just don't want to see it you can just uncheck mark it and it'll it's still there it just doesn't show it you can add a video capture device now what that is for um, you just go ahead right click video capture device uh, name it whatever you want and the device is going to be here so if you want to add a webcam um, if you want to add maybe you have a HD PVR or an Elgato or a Roxio game capture or something like that then you can add it there and you can change all of the settings the way you like them here um, but don't worry about that or, well if you have one of those then do that but I don't so then I'm going to show you guys if you guys want to record a game like, you know, League, uh, League, Minecraft, you know, whatever you're recording, whatever you want to do on your channel, I'm going to show you guys how to do it the best way. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. So let me just get this open really quick. I should have opened it before I started. But just go ahead and launch your game. Um, you can't do this until the game's launched. So, yeah. So just go ahead and open it up. It doesn't have to be in windowed. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what resolution it's in. I'm just using this as an example. Okay. It doesn't have to be like this. This is just my example. You can just go ahead and you can right click, add the game capture. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I preferably like to name it the game I'm capturing. Um, so then click this drop down arrow and find your game. Um, you might have multiple things in there if you have multiple things open. But right now we're just going to click Minecraft. Make sure you click stretch image to screen and ignore aspect ratio. Click OK. And just like that we have a clear crisp view of the game. Uh, say you want to bring that text back open. Um, I'm going to show you guys something. So I'm going to uncheck mark Minecraft. So right now you can see that, see I can check mark this, but see how Minecraft's above it? We need to order, we need to move this above Minecraft. So it's over Minecraft. Uncheck mark monitor, we'll check back Minecraft, and boom, you guys can see the text. It's simple as that. 
You can also, if you don't want to make, you don't have to make a whole new one. Say you want to change up the text, you can right click properties. You can change the font. So let's change the font to that. You can change the font size if you want. And let's add an exclamation point at the end. You guys can go ahead and you can change that up there. And see, it looks a lot nicer. Or maybe I can do this actually. This would look a lot better. If I was serious and really wanting this here, I could change it to the Minecraft uh, thing and change the color of it to maybe like a light bluish like that. I know I didn't show that but it's pretty simple. I was just doing what I was doing earlier and see that's there. So it's really simple guys so when you, you can also, um, let me show you this, you can also click uh, preview stream. I can't click because I'm uh, I'm recording but it, it says preview stream but preview stream and preview your recording are the same thing you're gonna see it just that way so if you guys don't know if you have things right that's how you check and then when you're ready you just click start recording and it, it goes from there so if this helped you out guys please leave a like and a favorite that would mean a lot if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below my twitch and my twitter are down there as well and uh, subscribe for more of these guys there's gonna be minecraft videos there's gonna be a couple of new games I'm gonna be playing and I hope you guys enjoy